Hello folks and welcome back to Stormworks. As usual, it has been a little while since I've had time to put some videos on the channel. I'm not gonna repeat the uh, why uploads are so infrequent over here every time I make a video nowadays, but we're back. And we are gonna do our standard little adventure of trying out a new ship, taking a tour of it, bringing it out to sea, putting it through the paces with the weather, and there should be a few new hazards, kind of like the last video, that we'll be able to stress test the ship with. So the ship we're trying out today is called the SS Clodoc. Now this is based on a real ship that was a oil tanker called the SS Zeroaster, or something like that. If I can find any information on it, I'll pop up that on the screen right now. But anyways, yeah, it looks like a classic old school kind of oil tanker thing, so let's go ahead and take a look at her, get on board. All right, I went ahead and turned the interior lights on beforehand. So from the back here, you can see we've got some uh, some uh, gear stashed on the back here. Going into the engine room, the upper deck, looking down at it. And uh, here you can access the upper part of the deck house with the uh, wheelhouse and all that. Going forward, still uh, in the engine room kind of area. However, the captain's cabin is in here. And uh, if you are gonna wanna sink this ship, you can, uh, you have a few different options under the uh, captain's desk here to do that. Should be some interesting stuff that can happen with that whenever we get it to happen. Got some storage in here. Apparently didn't turn on the lights. And we have a, a gramophone, so. Turn that off. Over here we have the first mate's cabin, which is not, uh, pretty much the same, I guess, a little bit smaller. Has some cold weather gear, and you can see out into the, uh, front deck there. Speaking of which, going forward, you can see we have all these tanks up front here. Now this one, if you are actually using it to transport fuel and stuff, you can, uh, adjust the ballast tanks and stuff like that to correct list. We're not doing that today, we're just bringing her out on the, uh, open ocean and Driving her through some weather and some hazards and whatnot, see how she takes it. Got some ropes stored up here, and uh, let's go ahead forward. And you can see we got some crew cabins here. Everyone's got cold weather gear. Just uh, crew bunks and whatnot. Anchor winch room to the front. Let's go ahead and go down from here. Down here we have a ton of equipment uh, stashed in here, as well as uh, sort of like a workshop area. Even more equipment back around the back. This thing is really stocked with this kind of stuff. It's, uh, pretty impressive. Even got some diving equipment. Going forward, there is the, uh, bow tanks and workshop. And here you can see where you can empty the, uh, the ballasts and stuff like that. Or, or uh, fill them. Got some more gear stashed back here. Here's those tanks you can see from the deck. I'll keep moving back. And back here we have the galley on the left. Not a very big galley, but hey. On the lights. Across from that you have the uh, kitchen. Again, fairly small, but this isn't a huge crew uh, ship. Okay, going back. Oh, and we just dropped right down the ladder. We're now down in the engine room. And here we have our light boiler, so let's go ahead and do that. Coal bunker on. Okay. Okay. She is lighting up. This is just to get coal if you want to manually shovel coal in here. But, um... Okay, she should be fired up in just a minute. We got some more emergency stuff here, and here's our telegraph. And further back, even more, uh, gear stashed. I'm assuming it's the same on the other side as well. Nope, it is not, actually. Okay, uh, let's go up from here. And right here, what do we got? Engine room and stern tanks. Kind of a problematic door to open. And yeah, here's our tanks in the back. More equipment. And we can exit right here. Okay, I think that pretty much covers it for the decks. For the, uh, interior, except for up top, so, let's head up top. 
more access to the deck house. We've got our lifeboats. Someone thankfully told me that backspace usually disconnects these cables when you're in the lifeboats. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that. I guess I could have looked that up, but I kind of, I guess I assumed that everything was like manual where you had to press buttons and stuff like that to make this happen. Keep in mind, my experience with Stormworks is mostly stuff like this. Like, I mostly just mess around with ships and stuff, so I'm not privy to every last nuance of the controls and how all the stuff works. And we can uh, get up above the wheelhouse here. And even a uh, piloter from up here, we got some seats and stuff like that. Pretty cool, flying bridge. Got our spotlight control there. And she's, she's burning, okay. So inside, we have a GPS autopilot because kind of everything does in here. Let's go ahead and turn on our, I guess our nav lights, why not? Got our anchor controls here. And uh, yeah, I think we're ready to just kind of head out. I'm gonna open these up though. I like this wheelhouse, it's very nice feeling. But let's start steaming out. Here you go. Now I forgot to mention this one is also from Brown Star Shipyards. They're one of my favorite ship creators on uh, the Steam Workshop. I really like all their creations because they do a lot of historical ships like this. Other people do too, but Brown Star especially, and they're usually sinkable or destructible and just very well made. So if we want to get some heavy seas, we're going to want to head out from land. I think this time we will head south instead of heading north as we usually do. So let's start turning. Oh, okay. I didn't realize with the telegraph, you don't just hold down W. You set it in increments. That's nice. Oh, by the way, for anyone who watched uh, the uh, Fishing North Atlantic video I did on the channel, I do plan on making more of that. In fact, I kind of wanted to make one of those first, but we haven't done Stormworks in a while, so... Uh, I had been missing this too, so I figured we ought to do this. I'm kind of surprised that video did pretty well, especially for the size of my channel and being a new game, so I'm happy about that, and I definitely want to do more of it because I put in twice or three times the amount of playtime as I had in the first video since then, so I've got some cool stuff to show. Anyhow, I'm going to get uh, away from the islands, and uh, weather is going to be picking up, so... We'll see what happens in a few minutes. Also, I overturned. Whoops. Okay, um... We have an air raid siren going off. I don't know why. I hope it's not like a whirlpool or something starting up. It is too early in our voyage to be hitting a whirlpool. Can't see anything yet. Really hope that's not what it is. I guess they probably spawn randomly, so maybe it's somewhere entirely different on the the map. I guess we shouldn't worry about it. Just kind of eerie hearing an air raid siren this far out at sea, but anyways, we're moving out a little bit east as well to get clear of the land. Weather is picking up a little bit. We are steaming pretty fast. We're doing like 18 knots out here. Not sure what ever became of that siren in that whirlpool. I never did see it. But, uh... Kind of cutting diagonal through the waves here just until I get a little more east and then we're gonna head south. Let's go ahead and go on the deck for a minute and just uh, have a look around as we usually do. She is moving pretty good. I'm kind of surprised she's going so fast. Might actually have to slow her down a little bit once uh, the weather starts uh, picking up a little bit. Nothing uh, too intense to uh, speak of yet, but it is picking up, so. Oh, I just noticed we have coal bunker access right here. Yeah, anyways. So far, so good. No whirlpools, no catastrophes, so. And carry on. Okay, moving into the afternoon now, and as you can see, we're hitting some bigger stuff. I'm heading straight south into the waves now. I did decide to slow her down just a little bit. Just, uh,. I don't know, maybe that was a mistake. We'll see how much this actually affects our speed here. Got some pretty good waves going on. A little more rain coming in. It's not looking terrible up there, just a 
decent amount of waves. Don't want to, oh, I left the front open. In fact, I probably left some doors open. Might not want to do that. Let me go close some of these. I don't know if this one will be sinkable. Um, just with doors open, but I'm not going to risk it yet. Okay. Kind of getting tossed around on deck here, so let's get back up. She seems to be taking it well. I mean, we do have, you know, water over the bow and stuff, but that's, that's pretty normal, so. Getting tossed off course a little bit. Let's get going back south. It's always unnerving watching from the wheelhouse these kinds of waves coming over. And we're uh, not even close to the max strength yet. Well, we're about halfway there. And I know that it's probably not going to do anything because the just of how this game works, but still unnerving. Anyhow, we're going to keep uh, steaming on, see what happens. Okay, getting towards the evening. Got a little more weather happening. Not as severe as I expected it to be, although I did see a little tiny island ways off that way, so maybe closer proximity to land is making, oh my goodness, making a difference, but uh, it's still pretty intense. The rain's picking up, getting a little fog rolling in. Yeah, you can see a little tiny island out there, but still, she's starting to really bob around. She's taking it pretty well, though. I am getting thrown off course a little bit from my south bearing here, but um, I mean, so far so good, so we'll see. We'll see what happens once it gets a little worse than this. Oh, we're getting some bigger ones now. I'm having a really hard time keeping south. My goodness, that pretty much went up to the wheelhouse. She's bobbing under, but I don't think she's taking on water. Um, I hope she didn't take on water before. Maybe while I have a chance. Oh my goodness. Maybe this isn't the best time to go down to the wheelhouse or it's going to turn us sideways while I'm down there and maybe flip us over and I don't want that yet. All the doors are closed, so hopefully she isn't taking on water. It doesn't feel like it's handling any different, so just keep steaming on for the moment. Okay, it's almost nighttime. I need to turn my lights. And the wind is crazy right now. The rain is really picking up. There's fog moving in. And we got some crazy seas out here. So if this ship makes it for the next little while without capsizing or taking on water, we know that this thing cannot be sunk without the actual action of activating that. But look at these seas. Pretty intense starting to do our our jumping out of the ocean maneuver which happens quite often when you're doing this in other ships it took a little while before this one started doing that though surprisingly lifeboats are just going crazy I'm still getting knocked off course I'm trying to steer into it but a little tough when the weather's like this she's taking it well though catching air Still going south. So, oh my goodness. It's so disorienting to do this from first person. Can't imagine being in weather like this in a real ship. Spending a lot of time underwater, but I think we're okay. We're basically going to ride this for the next little while. And if nothing happens, once the weather clears, we'll, uh... We'll go down below and see if she did take on any water.
Okay, so hours later, we're in the middle of the night, and it is, it is calm. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to go down below deck and see if any water got in or anything like that. It sure doesn't look like it. Okay, so yeah, we're, it's fine. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes when there's water in these ships. But I don't believe there's any in this. All oh, these lifeboats are screwed. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna keep going until we get some some daylight out. See uh, what happens with the weather. Uh, I'm still steaming in calm seas, and I just heard a growl. Oh, my goodness. How did I find this thing in calm seas? That's a kraken, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> what? I thought this thing was only supposed to show up in stormy weather. Is it going to come after me? <laughs> That is the first time I've seen that thing. I'm steaming as fast as I can now. While the weather is good, we're going to make some time south, but I can't believe I just saw that. There's no way to spawn that thing, by the way. I don't think. No, I'm wrong. There is a way to spawn the Kraken now. There, there didn't used to be, but that one, I did not spawn that one. That just showed up. Well, that uh, gives us a whole new thing to try sometime. I don't know if it'll work with the ship that's uh, not sinkable without a script, though. That took me off guard. Okay, well, I guess it's gone. So, we're gonna keep on going till the daylight. Oh! It, okay, hold on. It followed me into the dawn. Get back on the... Um... Great. What am I supposed to do about this? I was about to say... That the weather has kicked back in. As the, the sun rose here. Got some high winds and some good waves. Right as I was gonna go outside to check something that... <laughs> Kraken showed back up. Oh my. I don't know if it actually damaged me. Okay, I'm gonna go back to doing what I was doing here. Okay, uh... I guess it damaged me. Um... Uh, so I said dynamic sinking. And almost immediately, this thing broke in half. So... Uh-oh. I'm not gonna bother with the lifeboats. Those things never work out for me. Um... So... Here we are. Bobbing around. Just gonna... Wait for it to happen, I guess. I didn't expect that to happen so fast. I'm sure I'll be fine there. <laughs> Good grief. There goes the stern. Okay, where am I? Let's try to get to the bow. Not that it's gonna matter for much longer. Oh no. Am I even gonna be able to get onto this thing? Oh, I got on. Okay. Um. I can't believe this thing's still floating. And I'm hearing a weird growl again. Let's go up front. I've never had this happen before. I've only had one other ship split in half, but... I never saw the bow float around like this. I know that's not gonna last for very long. Interesting. And it's about to go. 
And I hear a cracking again. Or something. I don't unless that's the ship breaking up, making noise, I don't know. So much for the lifeboats also. Yep, there she goes. Wow. <laughs> okay then. That was not what I expected to happen at all. But that was pretty cool. We're gonna have to uh get back to land, so yeah. Okay, we're back. By the way, there's that forest that, that caught on fire last time. It was still burning when I started today. So I'm curious about a few other things with this ship. So to get a little meta again, with dynamic sinking, you have to turn the waves up for it to, to do that. And the waves were already really high, plus I was probably damaged already from that Kraken grabbing the ship, so that just happened really fast. So I'm gonna bring out her sister ship, quote unquote, and uh, we're gonna head out into some deeper water. And I'm gonna try something else in calmer weather, kind of like this, with uh, with another natural disaster. Okay, we are steaming along out here. Pretty far out from land. Not got a lot of weather going on, but uh, that's about to change. Maybe weather isn't the right word for it. And... Okay. Steering out of it did absolutely nothing. Oh, she's gonna tumble right away. I didn't expect it to show up on that side. Well... Yep. That's basically what you expect to happen with a whirlpool. I didn't go out very deep, did I? I thought I did. We hit the bottom. Oh my goodness. Hit the bottom and broke in half. I didn't know it could do that. So you don't have to turn on dy dynamic sinking. I'm gonna drown. Um, oh no I'm not. You don't have to turn on dynamic sinking for it to... Wow, you can see the whirlpool. I guess I have infinite health on. It hit pretty hard. But yeah, I guess it just does that if you do enough damage. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, the whirlpool's moving me, I'm not. Okay, well, so much for that test. That was kind of cool, though. Okay, um... Let's swim back up to the surface and go back to land. I came back to another island to see what was going on, and there's a... This is an enemy-controlled island. There's a... There's a jet being shot at. I haven't actually witnessed any of this... This, uh, search-and-destroy stuff yet, so that's kind of cool to see. They're shooting at him. And there's, a uh, something over here. I wonder if they're gonna... Attack me if I try to spawn something over here. I was gonna, I was gonna do something with the ship. Maybe that's a mistake. There's a tank down here. There's a few tanks. Um. Whoa. Or is that an enemy fighter? I don't know. I think it was just shooting at me. I know this is totally off topic. Are you about to shoot at me? I have, uh, infinite health on. Let's go somewhere else. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> this is not the point of this video. We'll have to mess around with this stuff some other time. Um, I have some ideas now that I've seen some of this. New test incoming. I don't know if anything's gonna come of this. But we're gonna see. And here's come some meteors. Okay, they... Wow, that's a lot. Wow, they really come at you. Whoa. 
Oh, wow. They create like a wave. I mean, obviously, but... I was actually more curious about what if one hit me. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of just in the screwing around point at this time. They created quite the wave. I was going so fast, I don't think they had a chance to... ...to, uh, catch me. So let's go ahead and... ...idle back down because there's just been a major event. Some more coming in somewhere. Yep, there they are. Let's see if any of these things hit us. them hit us. That's pretty wild. They did get close. Here comes the wave. I'm still... My telegraph's still at zero, and we're going ten knots in reverse. Here comes some more. A lot of them. Oh! Good grief. Um, did that just absolutely delete my ship? <laughs> I see that uh, the ship was absolutely... I would have died if I didn't have my health on infinite right there. Okay, now we know what happens when it hits a ship. That was kind of underwhelming. I was hoping it would have just gone straight through, but I mean, I guess it makes sense that it would just erase it. Okay, well that answers that question. Let's let's get out of here. So that that uh, ship that just got hit by the meteor, it's not even on the map anymore. It just deleted it off the face of the earth. Oh, there's helicopters shooting at my ship. Um. Okay. Should we try to get her out of port? This is not what I was trying to do. But here we go. S start her up and try to get out of here fast. The search and destroy thing does give me some interesting ideas for other videos. Ah, they damaged me. But we're gonna do that some other time. For right now, I just want to get out of here. Let these helicopters come back. mind, it's not over. She's just getting underway now. We're gonna get blown up before we can get out of port. I'm just cutting hard left here, full throttle. I don't... Probably gonna hit something, but... Probably gonna smack land. Oh, no. Thing is, I spawned a volcanic eruption, but I don't see anything happening, so I'm not sure how that works. I was gonna see if the volcano would make it down to port here, but I kinda got distracted by these hostile helicopters. So we'll have to try that some other time. And incoming. Oh man. They're pretty accurate. This thing's gonna break up in port before I can even get out of here. Just go up top to steer. I can see. Nothing ever became of that volcano. Maybe it was a random volcano somewhere else. Got a lot of damage. I thought this was a friendly harbor, which is why I came down here. I guess it's not for long. I feel like I can't steer. Did they knock out my rudder or something? Oh, they did. Oh, no. Can't move. I can't steer, I mean. Okay. Oh, now it's back. Okay. Trying to get away from this island. Oh, my goodness. Since the volcano was a bust... I want to see what happens when they, uh, 
do enough damage to me, so let's pretend our engines are out. And just see what happens with enough firepower from these helicopters. He's listing. Oh, uh... That's middle. I'm gonna go down below for a second. And we're taking fire. And we're gonna turn the boiler off so she can't go anywhere. Taking fire. I didn't think this thing was naturally sinkable, but maybe I'm wrong. Got all the lights on. She's definitely listen. I just don't know if that's because of it's sinking or not. I didn't see any water down there. I'm just gonna play a dead in the water ship here for a minute and uh they really want me. They're coming back. You know what? Maybe this would be a good opportunity to see if I could do anything with the light boats. I don't have a lot of luck with these things. Oh, it looks like it's destroyed. That one. Yeah, it is. This one's not. Hello. Unfortunately, this is on the side that's at a weird angle. We're gonna roll over. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with this boat. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Question is, is she actually taking on water? It's, it's hard to tell what there's water down here. I don't think there is. They're taking fire. They're taking their sweet time. Yeah, we're definitely sinking, obviously. It's gonna flip over on us. Might as well watch from cinematic mode for a few minutes. Yeah, water's starting to come over the side. I mean, I guess it can naturally sink like this with damage. Um... I was kind of expecting them to, um... make it break in half, but... Are they leaving? No, they're just turning around. Or something. I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe they figure they've already got me because they have already got me. Yep, she's got water coming in. Nope, they're still shooting at me. They just, <laughs> they're not done with me yet. Here's another one. She's about to roll over. Obviously. And that's that. Wonder if they'll leave now. Also, oh, I'm already off the ship. Okay. Huh. I was expecting a missile to break it up, but still. That's pretty cool. Nothing ever became of that volcano. Maybe it was on another island. The lights are still on. It's not very deep here, so... Not gonna go very far. I don't think it's very deep here. Yeah, they're still shooting at this guy with the thermal clothing out and the... floating around in the water here. I would definitely be dead if I had health. Okay, so that was about an hour and a half of uh, messing around with that ship. I really like the ship, and uh, I really like the fact that we can now spawn Krakens, and uh, we've got these hostiles roaming around. Gives me some more ideas for different ways to uh, test ships in different scenarios and stuff like that. As usual, I'll have the link to the, uh, the ship I used in the video description if you want to use it for yourself. I'll probably come back with a Fishing North Atlantic video next time, and then... I think, like I said in the first Fishing North Atlantic video, there was a few other games I got for the channel that I would like to do something with, so I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see, but, um, yeah, anyways, that will do it for this one, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care.